Yeah, so I guess when I was asked to come to Christchurch to, to work for Skate, uh, there were a number of places and possibilities that were put out there, and this um, site was one of those. Um, the original, I guess, positioning statement for, for Skate was predominantly about challenging notions of the city and, 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 and how it operates, and in general how cities operate, but also... Um, challenging how Christchurch operates um, and I proposed originally I proposed in the first sort of three to four months of the project I proposed to use this site um, and I guess it became pretty clear that it was very hard to get um, uh, permissions for a number of these gap sites however I really had an affinity I guess for this site um, after creating these propositions for it and also just the notion of there being such an important gap site right in the centre of town, in, the, in Cathedral Square. And so I started thinking, I guess, outside of how I would normally work and, 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 and taking a look back at the, the, the positioning of, of, of what this scape was, was, was meant to... Well, what artists were meant to respond to, I guess, with this scape. And so at the same time, I was talking a lot to a friend of mine, Dorian Farr, who's an architect, um, and we talked about possibly working together um, and creatively get along very well. And so I raised the idea of, the, of, of possibly doing this and it being a low-budget, I guess, collaboration. We started, well, we started looking at that site and basically sort of coming out of that site meant that it needed to be tall, um, uh, and sort of looking at, at, at the, the, the notion of the garden city and rooftops and so on and um, the idea of, of, of greenification of rooftops and, and new modern architecture that was going on. So we spent a good uh, three to four months just passing back and forth sketches and ideas and links about what's going on globally with architecture and so the, yeah they're just a couple of images that we were looking at and and um and then we came over in may 2010 and did a um uh, a heli flight over the top of christchurch that's dorian there quite much taller than i then we had about three months or so to get together the the concept of guard density before scape would happen in september um, 2010. And so we really wanted to, I guess, use the rooftops of the, the adjacent buildings. And these are some of the early um, computer models of guard density before they were embedded within, within the video itself. And, um, and so I guess the, the, the key thing that this project was responding to was obviously the site and the Sevick Jones building, which is no longer there now, post-February quake and incorporating that heritage building within this new architecture. And so we had ideas for many as, as, aspects of that building, large amounts of sort of rooftop gardens and so on, apartments for inner city students. These are spaces that are on top of existing buildings and turned into other spaces. Predominantly, we just wanted to create a building that actually had a lot of public use, and I guess it wasn't um, completely closed off private um, new property. And then there's also the component which it was, was, was possibly just going to be a small component, I guess, before the first earthquake, but um, became the main crux of the, the project post-September um, 4, which was basically online discussion about the future of the city, a website and a Facebook profile which would basically <coughs> facilitate... Um, local discussion about the future of the city. So this is the website very early on. So it's got the animation on there. I guess an updated about the architecture. Um, the text here is basically just a, an explanation of what that building itself would be architecturally. But this is the archive of the first parts of discussion that took place. So you can kind of see, this is the Facebook, um, this is the beginning of the Facebook discussions early in these are the same text um, without all the information of the colour and information of Facebook, but it's, there's the full um, discussions that took place from 
uh, early September through till when Scape was originally meant to run until, which was November uh, 2010. I guess uh, a lot of the discussions that took place in the early in the first three months after the first earthquake were quite intensive and quite positive looking forward and then the discussion slowed down I guess after I, I stopped it in November and I was going to reopen the discussions again um, when SCAPE was meant to happen in February, um, in March, sorry. After the February earthquake I waited, waited about a month and sort of ummed and ahed about opening it up again at that time. I did, um, and I guess what happened was I became more of a facilitator of information at that time on Facebook um, as opposed to a uh, facilitator of discussions because I think people were not sure about what to discuss or the future of the city at all, and so everything seemed quite hard for me to sort of know exactly how to operate. Um, not being here for that earthquake as well as not being, yeah, not being around and, and knowing the real feeling on the ground, I guess. So th the best thing I started working out was after I sort of facilitated what was going on information-wise or event-wise was that people were quite appreciative of that. And so my role, I guess, changed, I guess, in terms of sort of facilitator of dense discussion to just facilitator of getting information out to people. And I never really envisaged, I guess, the discussion component of this project to be that way. Um, and just kept on pushing through with that. And after a while, it sort of drained on me as well. And so I sort of stopped the discussions late May, I think, um, and then pulled out a bit, and then leading into SCAPE happening again, I reopened them in mid-June uh, through to mid-July, and then there were mid-June, or early June to mid early July, and then there were the mid-June earthquakes. And so there was two weeks of really dense discussion again, and then all of a sudden it just shut down. And so basically all of that is archived, I guess, date-wise, um, on this website uh, in sort of normal form and the importance of that I guess is because the apart from it not just being on Facebook is that the Facebook was a profile um, as opposed to a page you can see the friends as opposed to fans um, and this was this was quite important in terms of gaining people in the early stages well in in the in the months after the first quake because basically I knew just from seeing how other groups and pages operated that it was harder to get a lot of likes than it was to target particular people that lived in Christchurch. So I went through particular groups to find people in Christchurch to add and then that would, that would sort of steamroll. Um, uh, I mean, having said that, at this point, a year on, it could probably be a page and it would have as many followers, but I could never have envisaged that it was going to be more than a three-month project in late 2010. The important thing is, I guess, is that all, all these discussions are archived on the project website and that, uh, that domain and hosting has been paid for for well over five years. So it's an online archive about passionate debate which exists for people as a resource, I guess. In terms of, like, the physical form of the installation... Um, <coughs> It exists today as it did pre-planned pre-September 4, 2010. And this was an early quick concept just to get across the idea to escape and the, the, the supporters of the project of, of what type of construction I would want to be creating. Basically, container-based, double-sized, double size. you go in, view the video. And it was going to be directly opposite the gap site in Cathedral Square, much like they have... Um, developer-style showrooms out the front of vacant sites um, where new buildings are made. These are, these are the still-based images as opposed to the video-based images. And these photos, that, that photo was taken on top of the, um, the Novotel Hotel. Um, a number of pan shots around the same time as we did the helicopter shoot. Um, uh, and also this shot was taken, bearing in mind, I guess, wanting to 
show, I, I guess, areas where light would be coming through into the, into the square, as that was an important um, aspect of building something quite tall in that gap site, was that there would still be possibilities for light to be coming into, that, into the, um, the square there. And so these are basically the images that we wanted to use for the billboard for that um, particular, for the actual structure itself. That's an image of me going into the red zone after the first earthquake. Someone snapped it of me and put it online and said it, I look like a looter. Uh, this is a photo I found online shortly after the February quake. As you can sort of see at the bottom, um, down here is the half-built installation uh, that was yeah, half-built leading up to the February earthquake. And I believe that some of, um, some of your guys were at the site when it happened. And, so I, and I also, when I, I was in February at the time when the earthquake hit and I saw video footage of people running past it and it was, it was just quite a surreal situation because I was going to be going to Christchurch two days after. And then through the whole process of, 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 um, of the demolition of, of the city, I guess, I've seen images online of the Sevic Jones building, and this is one of the earlier ones I saw um, of it. And then this is one of it um, half demolished. And then this is one now I've seen of it pretty much all gone. And I guess the, the site is um, it's not directly relevant now to the physical presentation of, of the skate project, but um, it's certainly where that building itself was um, concept was, was was created for and these are where the new skate projects are and have been relocated to and, and this is the, the structure in its new space in front of the art gallery and these are the images being printed um, at the billboard manufacturer and then this is part of the installation of the work about a month ago and and then the final work itself just before it hailed like hell. Thank <laughs> you.